Saturday mods used to be pretty rare, but you know what? I'll take all we can get. Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got six mods to take a look at. For all platforms, we have five new and one updates and well, that's it. All the mods today are for all platforms. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the official in-game mod hub, even on Saturdays when I'm supposed to be out of town already. So let's jump in and check them out. Starting off today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Peachin Advanced Mod BT11. This right here is going to be a new plow for you guys. Weighs 5.1 tons, 510 horsepower is required, six meter spread at six miles per hour. This mod is actually from the brand. Peachin, uh, they have worked with Connect Modding and Giant Software to bring these in the game. So as far as I know, I think Connect Modding was actually the ones that put these in the game. However, the monitor that is contributed for all of the mods we're going to talk about today, minus one, is Peachin, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, slot counts. Uh, this is eight slots. Next up, we've got another plow. This is the Peachin GSPCR. 400. This weighs 10.6 tons, absolutely massive. 476 horsepower is required for it. 6.4 meter working width at 7 miles per hour. Changing up, we've got rear discs, which can either be flat discs or they could be tooth disc as well. This is going to be six slots and, like we said, is available now for all platforms. Brand new brand. Thirdly, is not a plow. This is a disc hero. This is the Peachin GND HF 72 by 22. Again, this is a disc hero used for light cultivation, things like that. This is going to be eight slots for console players, 4.3 tons in weight, 194 horsepower required, 6.9 meter working width, nine Nice at 15 miles per hour so it is fast it is light and it don't require a whole lot of power it's not too bad that's not too bad at all we've also got a rear disc zone here as well flat or toothed very similar to the plow you guys can see it's got two different hitches one of which you need to hook up to the one closest to the screen right now you hook up to that tear it carry it around from point a to point b once you get where you're going unfold it and it'll actually pop out this piece right here once you've done that, well, you're good to go. Just grab a hold of it and get to work. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Master 15,000. This is a fertilizer spreader and it will do solid fertilizer and lime as well. I know a lot of you guys ask, will it do lime? Well, I want to know as well. I think they all should do lime, but that's just me. Regardless, this holds 15,000 liters of either one, it weighs 3.7 tons, 150 horsepower is required for it as a 36 meter spread with these discs and it'll do it at 11 miles per hour. Console players will find that this is 14 slots. We do have one customization that's going to be your wheels. We have Trelleborg and BKT, but only back and forth between those. And your last mod is actually a little bit of three mods. This is the Beachin G-A-H-G-R-O-B-R-2. Thousand, Yes, sir. So this is a big bag transport tool, which is very, very cool. What you do is you take this, you hook it up to a three point, uh, whether that be the front three point or the rear three point is up to you. Most people will put this on the back. Then you've pretty much got a hook lift crane, which is kind of sweet. Now, this is not a hook lift in the sense that you would uh, um, be used to it with containers and things like that. This hooks on to big bags and things like that. You've also got a bit right here that don't have a bunch of straps on it. So with these straps, you can pick up other things like bells, other pallets, whatever you really want to. It's really, really cool. Weighs 1.2 tons, 65 horsepower is required for it. Now, we also have bags for it. So we have a seed bag. This holds 2,000 liters of seed, and you can buy between one and eight of them at a time. And then you've got a solid fertilizer bag. This holds 2,000 liters of solid fertilizer. And again, you could buy between one and eight of them at a time. As far as slots go, the tool itself is going to cost you four slots, and then it's going to be an extra one slot for every bag and every solid fertilizer bag. And lastly, today we've got an update, a surprise update that dropped super early this morning to the Parard Pack, which we actually just got an update to like a day or two ago. This is update 1.1.0.2, minor fixes to the Plateau Soul physics again this was i think released yesterday but it did drop again today um i'm sure there was something some reason whatever 
Just make sure you update, that's all. And make sure you come back next week for some more new mods and updated mods for all platforms and probably some for PC and Mac players as well. Big shout out to Connect Modding and Peachin and Giant Software for bringing us all the really cool stuff today. This is gonna be a neat pack. It may not be for everybody, but you should at least check it out and see if it'll work good on your farm. Again, this is a brand new brand that's never been in Farming Simulator before. I'll be dead. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be dead. Hope you have a great one. We'll see you later. Peace.